The latest firmware update from MidiCake Art brings some fantastic new features that greatly expand ARP's sequence generation capabilities, improve channel synchronization, and add a few tools that we think you'll love. In this video, we'll take a look at those big enhancements. These are Arpeggiator Live Play via an external keyboard, customizable bounce patterns, extended effects section, octave locking, CC assignment improvements, up and down control changes, MIDI indicators, deterministic synchronization, USB host support, and a bunch of bug fixes. It's quite a lot to get through, but stick with us and we'll quickly summarize each new feature. Arpeggiator Live Play. When pressing external MIDI notes, ARP will now play the full sequence, whether ARP is playing or not. This is useful for hearing the sequence, but it means you can also play those arpeggios live, just like a classic synth arpeggiator. Custom Bounces The list of bounce patterns has been modified, and support for custom bounce patterns added, giving you full control over the sequence steps. Patterns are 16 steps, and you can adjust the root position of the pattern, enabling patterns to be quickly transposed and also providing more range up and down the scale. The bounce patterns can be modified during playback, and you can use the direction parameter to reverse or reflect the sequence. The effects parameter has been given a major overhaul. The humanize function has been replaced with the ability to directly affect the velocity parameter. You can now also affect many more parameters and the options have been extended to allow the selection of a seed for the effect sequence and how often the effect sequence repeats. The effects amount can also be modulated using either of the modulation parameters. Effects provides a massive expansion of ARP's pattern capabilities and deserves a video in its own right, which you'll see pretty soon. Octave locking. If you've used ARP to create a bass line and then want to prevent that sequence being transposed during live play, well, now you can. You can lock the individual ARP channel to its selected octave. This means you can wander up and down the keyboard and the sequence will stay fixed to its octave. CC assignment improvements. The control change assignment has been made a lot simpler. After selecting CC learn, you can cycle through the select buttons or the parameters and assign CCs one by one. In set mode, the parameter assignments are now per ARP, so each ARP can be controlled independently, or you can assign the same CC to multiple ARPs and or parameters. Some quick changes. The up down buttons can now be held to quickly change values. And there's also a handy display for incoming MIDI note and CC messages. Deterministic synchronization. If you've been wondering why we've taken so long to release the firmware update, apart from component supply problems, we've been working to fix a long-standing bugbear of ours. 
It was always the intention to make art fully deterministic in the way it behaved. When we developed modulation though, we used a relatively simple sequential method of maintaining the sequence. This way was easier to implement, but it led to scenarios where ARP channels would become out of sync when changing parameters that affect the length of the sequence. Ever found a pattern that you like, only to lose it when you press stop and play again? You'll know what we're talking about. This has now been resolved. It was no easy task, without affecting behaviour and performance. So, thank you for your patience. USB host. The new 1.5 version of ARP brings an upgrade to the microprocessor and LCD hardware, but most evident is the inclusion of the USB host port. This port enables you to connect a USB MIDI device such as a keyboard, sequencer or controller to send MIDI note and CC messages into ARP. 5 volts is supplied via the port so you can power USB devices directly from ARP. The new version of ARP also has some minor design tweaks and a new eco-friendly packaging, but most of the changes are aimed at making it easier to manufacture in bigger quantities. The last few months have brought some unexpected delays, but I personally feel that we now have a product with which we are capable of meeting demand, but also meets the quality expectations of our customers. There's a couple of bug fixes too. Uh, pad mode now behaves itself during live play. Chord mode adheres to the rhythm patterns as it's supposed to. and you can edit rhythm and groove patterns from the rhythm length parameter. For existing owners, there's a 1.4.2 firmware version on the website available now. The new production batch is earmarked as version 1.5, and because it uses a different processor, it requires a different firmware file. The capabilities of both versions are identical though, and will continue to support all versions. There are more exciting features in the pipeline, and more firmware updates planned for 2023, so watch this space. And finally, thanks for watching.